Hello, so today I'll show you this really awesome, uh, well, really awesome thing over here. And before I start this video, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do because, well, I make really cool stuff. You can check that other videos out. And so now let's start with this thing. So this is basically a serial hexadecimal data transmission system. And uh, if you don't know what serial data transmission is, uh, I'll have a video uh, linked in description check that out so once you know what serial data transmission is you check that out check that video out and then you can come back over here and i'll show you this thing so what exactly is this basically this is just serial data transmission but instead of binary we are using hexadecimal now what does that mean instead of two values that is zero and one we have 16 different values from zero to 15 and uh yes of course we are going to use signal strength in this case so let me just start with what this thing does so over here we have this lectern and we have 31 pages every two of them labeled with one number so i'll just set them to a, any random number so that was seven four this one is let's say eight and three yeah so now uh, i have set these to certain numbers you can of course use anything but i'm using lecterns so it doesn't really matter and now i just need to pulse this uh, button and where did the, yeah so let's click this button and all that data will travel through this line now the one disadvantage is this line is slightly slower but it's fine um and as you can see three i guess this is eight yeah four and seven so that as you can see in in no time on a single wire we have data of four hexadecimal uh, digits so if you want the signals to be zero just remove one of these books and then you will have zero at that particular position so as you can see three zero four and seven so now let's clear this now you can of course make this one wide i choose to make it two wide because well i wanted to display the thing and uh, yeah so now let's talk about how this thing works so as you can see this button we have the sticky piston that pushes this observer causing a pulse into this dust which then uh, pulses each of these pistons one by one every single tick and these pistons basically allow data to be passed from the comparator to the dust and uh, this happens tick by tick so each tick one of the piston gets pushed and uh, these comparators hold the data uh, and from the lectern and this data is transferred tick by tick into this comparator and finally into this one so all of this data comes into this comparator finally but tick by tick so not all at once and then this data flows all the way into the decoder but before that we have this line so when the observer first pulses this place the first very first pulse travels into this block and travels and then the rest of the data comes behind it so it's first the observer pulse and then rest of the data and uh, yeah so one by one each of the data follows uh, the pulse and how exactly that happens is first this one then this one and then this one and this one so one by one each of the data follows and what the very first pulse from the observer it, when it reaches to this position this point it pushes this observer causing a pulse onto this line so the very first very first pulse right when that reaches over here it just fires this observer up and uh, and this causes a bunch of pistons to uh, basically push a block in front of these comparators and what these comparators do is they hold the data of well they get the data of each of our four digits and when the data gets read due to these pistons the data enters here and is displayed and stored in these lamps so I'm using pistons over here you can use regular RS nor latches I just choose to use piston because well they are easy to reset and uh, uh, easy to place lamps next to them so just 
it's just my thing to do but you can always use RS Norlaches and no you can definitely make it one wide it's super simple to make them one wide and basically that's how this thing works so you can set this to any number and you can just simply pulse click this button and all the data will travel over here you can see pistons getting pushed and yeah so the only downside is that unlike binary we can't have long redstone lines so this thing will be slower like you can have uh, the signal line going infinitely but it will have comparators at regular interval making this thing slower than this type of binary uh, data transmission so one good thing about this thing is in binary you need 8 bits to get yeah 256 possible combinations but here you need only two hexadecimal bit digits to get 256 combinations and for 8 hexadecimal bits uh, well, well the guess how many combinations it's, it's a huge number <laughs> uh, it's a pretty huge number I'll just show you yeah this number so yeah I guess that's it for today and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already joined the discord server and I guess that's it for today so see you next time